welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can do java jdbc crude operations using oracle database so basically how we can create read update and delete operations on the oracle from the java program so in agenda today so we will see how we can set up oracle and sql developer and uh, then uh, we will uh, create one maven project and uh, we will create one java class in order to make the necessary connections with the oracle database then we will perform some read write and delete operations along with the select operation and then we will visualize the data into sql developer so for this i am using my blog so blog link is provided into the video description so basically we are using like a oracle 19c version where and we are using java 8 version or java 17 version whatever the version available you have and we are using Eclipse. So if you are not familiar with the uh, Oracle installation and SQL developer installation, so you can refer my earlier video. So from here, so also this link is provided in the video description. So you can go through if you are not aware how to configure and set up Oracle. So we will start creating Java project, but before that, so just to verify that if your Oracle services are running, go to run and type services.msc. So click on this services and type o here so you can see this oracle service orcl so this is running and related oracle services are also running so oracle is running fine so now go to eclipse and start creating java project so in this eclipse so here like left hand side so we have this option create my own project or from file also so we have a create my own project option so here create simple Maven project and sell next. So give the name of the project like the, as a Oracle DB Java crude. This packaging is jar. Let's say finish. So our project is created. So now to, to start with, so we need to add appropriate uh, Maven dependencies in our project. So we need this following dependency. So that is a Oracle JDBC connection. Go to pom.xml and add this dependency so we need this uh, com.oracle database.jdbc ojdbc8 so we have this compatibility matrix okay so from oracle website so you can find the which java version you needed for your jdk so suppose like uh, you need you have a jdk 8 11 17 or 19 then you need a ojdbc 8.jar along with the uh, Oracle version of 19C. So here you can read uh, these descriptions in order to explore more. For now, like uh, we need uh, this JDBC 4.2 specifications. So we are including this OJDBC hit.jar. Okay, so we have added this jar. Now let's start creating Java classes. So create new Java class, uh, start adding the Oracle connection configurations. So we will uh, add this code in order to make this can make the connection to the database. So go here right click and uh, say new class so create the main method okay so we our class is created so just paste this so we need some import statement so just say control shift o in order to import the packages so what we are doing here so we are just creating the connection object so this connection object is a SQL statements are executed using this connection object. So now in order to connect with the database, so we need three things. One is a URL, username and password. So we are using thin driver of uh, JDBC and uh, this is the by default uh, database of Oracle or CL. So if you want to use another database, so you can uh, define that here. Then uh, we are using this system default username and uh, we are using this password okay let's see if uh, it able to connect with the database or not just run this program this is the very raw program but it will tell yeah so we are able to connect with the oracle database so our connection is a successful now move further in order to create sample sql table so we can create one table okay so we need to import this statement so what is the statement so statement is used for executing sql uh, commands okay so con dot create statement and by using this uh, con dot create statement so we will execute this sql so what is this sql so this is basically create command 
for uh, creating one table called as a customer and inside this customer so we have attributes like a customer name contact name address city and postal code so other than postal code all our uh, where cap that means string and postal code is a numeric that's it so we need to create this table let's execute this so if the table is getting created so we are good okay so create a table in given database so how to verify this so click here go to sql developer so this is our sql developer so we are connected to by default oracle db instance of uh, oracle so here just to dsc and table name so if table is created so we will yeah so we got something so you can see our all uh, attributes are created here so now moving further so we need to insert some data so we have created this table so we have created this table now we uh, we are like uh, inserting data okay in order to insert this so copy this code so now this is not required so comment this so only we need insert okay so we need to import this import the prepared statement so what is the prepared statement so it is a pre-compiled sql statement so which is uh, stored into prepared statement object so this object can be used to efficiently execute this program of statement okay so what we are doing is so we are inserting data into customers table and these are attributes of this table or fields of this table and values values means what value we are inserting into these columns so that we are defined into this uh, pre-compiled statement this index so we have we are having this uh, record so for second index so we are having this so like this and this this is the last one so save this and let's see if we are able to insert the data okay so new customer was inserted successfully okay so let's check if it is a success successfully inserted so go to sql developer and instead of tsc so just type uh, select star from customers yeah so you can see one record so this is the record this cardinal so we have this cardinal so let's verify by using uh, one more record so i will change here name we will change name as a jack okay to so change address as a del street and then change this as a So that's it. So let's execute this again. Okay. So again, the data is inserted. Hello. So let's verify again. Execute this. Yeah. So we got this record. So you can see the two records are inserted. So like this, we can uh, do this uh, insert statement. So now moving further. So we need to update some data. So copy this. So what we are doing here? So we are uh, doing this uh, update query. So what is the syntax of update query? So update, then name of the table, and then uh, what need to update? So that we have to define in set city equal to this. So we need to update this city as a Oslo is and where customer customer name equal to cardinal okay so here the customer name is a cardinal so we need to update this uh, to oslo city to oslo so now city is a stavanger so we need to update this city okay so you can uh, add this stavanger so let's execute this yeah so existing user was updated successfully so again we are we have used a pre-compiled statements so we have executed this update and uh, if the if the result is one means it is a success and if result is zero means it is a failure so we got the uh, greater than zero so it is a printed so let's verify this so go here and uh, let's execute again 
So you can see the city is updated as a Oslo. So previously it is a Stavanger and now it is a Oslo. So you can see I will execute this again. So you can see city is updated. Okay, so update query is uh, running fine. So now just comment this and uh, we will do the delete statements. okay so what we are doing here so just say ctrl shift f in order to format this so we are using this we are using this uh, command as to delete uh, some record so what is the syntax of delete so delete uh, then uh, from delete from is a syntax then the table name and which record you want to delete so where customer name equal to this so we need to delete the customer with the name as a cardinal so if you go here so this first row where customer name equal to cardinal so we need to delete this okay so we are again we are using pre-compiled statement in order to execute this and uh, if rows uh, after execution of statement so if rows are greater than one greater than zero then uh, it will uh, print this otherwise it will not print if there is an error so right click and say run a java application so you, we got this success user deleted successfully so now let's pin the previous result and let's run this again okay so that record is got deleted now we have we have only one record so that's it so our delete statement is working so now moving further so we need to how we can fetch data from uh, oracle and how we can um, use that data into our Java program so we need to import this result set so what we are doing here so we are just uh, doing the select star from customer so whatever data is in to customer table so we are just uh, querying that data and by using statement so we are uh, creating one statement and we are executing that statement by using statement dot execute query result will come to this attribute so now in order to make it readable format so we are just printing uh, this into while loop so we are creating one while loop and we are printing all the attributes into that table so result dot customer name result dot uh, this contact and everything and uh, we are adding some spaces and formatting and we are printing this into sysout okay so whatever whatever we got here so we are printing here so that's it so right click here and run a java application okay so we got data from table so in the table we have this data jack jack sparrow dale street chicago dale street chicago so we got this into tabular format so what is the name of customer then what is the address city and pin code so this way we can able to read this data from database also so this means uh, like our program successfully connected with the database and uh, we can able to perform create insert update delete and select operations so you can download the source code from uh, github so link is provided here also in video description yeah so that's it so stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching